Okay, so welcome to my first video on statistics. In this video, we're going over the mean, median, and mode, the three central tendencies, the foundation of statistics. And it's really important that you understand these core concepts because you're going to use them throughout the duration of your course. So let's get started right away with an example, and hopefully this will all make more sense after we're finished. Uh, let's say we have the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, and another 40. And we need to find the three central tendencies of this data set, so the mean, median, mode. So let's start out and let's find the mean. The mean is more commonly known as the average, so we need to find the average of these set of numbers. And in order to find the mean, you just have to add all the numbers. So let's add all our numbers. We add 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 40. And then we need to then we need to divide by the total amount of numbers. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers in our data set. So we need to divide by the number 5. And if we add 10 plus 20 is 30, 30 plus 30 is 60, 60 plus 40 is 100, 100 plus 40 is 140. So in our numerator, we have 140, and in our denominator, we have 5. 140 divided by 5 is equal to 28. So our average, or our mean, of this data set is equal to 28. All right? Um, so now let's find our median. The median can be found. First, what you need to do is order the numbers from smallest to largest. And this is already done. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 40. Um, so they're already from smallest to largest. And the median is always the number that's right in the middle. Notice how this number 30, we draw a line through it, how there's two numbers to the left of 30, and there's two numbers to the right of 30. Um, so 30 is the number that's exactly in the middle. So our median is equal to 30. And just a quick side note, the median is a little different if you have an even set of numbers. Uh, let's say we had the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Notice how now that we, instead of having five numbers, now we have six. Um, and if we drew a number, or if we try to find the number that's right in the middle, we have the, it's in between the 30 and the 40. Notice how there is three numbers to the right of the line, and there's three numbers to the left. Um, so whenever this happens, uh, you take the two numbers that are in the middle, 30 and 40, and you average them together. So 30 plus 40 divided by 2 is equal to 35. All right, so for this particular data set, uh, the median is equal to 35. All right, so let's go back to our original example. All right, so we found our mean, we found our median. Now let's find our mode. Our mode is just the number that occurs the most. And I'll circle the number that occurs the most in red. Notice how every number occurs once except for 40. We have two 40s. So because 40 occurs the most, our mode is equal to 40. So now we have found all our measures of central tendency. Our mean is equal to 28. Our median is equal to 30 and our mode is equal to 40. So many people ask me the question, what is the best measure? Is the mean better than the median? Is the median better than the mode? Uh, which measure of central tendency should we use, the mean, median, or the mode? And I don't have an exact answer to that question. Uh, you probably should just use your common sense. Um, this will make a lot more sense if I just use an example. Um, let's say, for example, that you're measuring your weight. 
And every day, every morning, uh, you go on a weight scale and you measure your weight. Um, so let's say one day you measure yourself and you weigh 100 pounds. And then the next day you measure yourself and once again you weigh 100 pounds. Uh, the next day you weigh 100 pounds. Fourth day you also weigh 100 pounds. And let's say on the fifth day, uh, let's say you weigh, um, let's just make it really ridiculous. Let's say you weigh 600 pounds on the fifth day. All right, now if we found our mean for the set of data, it would be 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 600 divided by 5, and our mean would be equal to 200. Now the median of this data set is just the number that's right in the middle, which is 100. So our median is equal to 100, and our mode is also going to be equal to 100 because the number 100 occurs the most. And I think it's pretty common sense uh, that the median and the mode are much more accurate uh, measures of central tendency than the mean. Okay, That is because this number 600 is obviously inaccurate. There must have been a, an error in the weight scale or there must have been so, some sort of error. Uh, there's no way you can gain 500 pounds um, in one day, um, and that really affected our mean. Our mean, you know, you're obviously your weight is around 100 pounds, um, and the mean says that uh, your weight is uh, the average is 200 pounds. So that's not even close. Um, the mean is probably not a measure of central tendency that you should use, and the median and the mode are are much more accurate, uh, much more accurate descriptions of this data set. Um, so. Use your common sense. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and this gave you a better idea of mean, median, and mode. I will be making um, a video on standard deviation next, so stay tuned. And until my next one, I will see you later.